Hi everyone, Miss Alex here. Welcome to our June STEAM to go kit program. Our theme for this month in um, celebration of our summer reading theme, which is the magic of friendship. It's a Harry Potter theme summer reading. Um, we are going to be doing potions this month. Um, so there's gonna be a couple experiments and a couple of like little crafts to do. Um, with potions. And um, if you also, if you haven't signed up for some reading at the Gold Coast Library yet, make sure to do that. The children's room looks super, super cool. It looks like a castle. And you do that at the Gold Coast Library and also pick up your steam kit while you're there. So let's go through it. And um, I think this will be short and sweet. So as always, the directions that I'm telling you here are also in behind here. And you have two pieces of really long watercolor paper that you'll be using for a lot of the crafts. You have watercolor paints. You can't really see them because I covered them so they wouldn't get dry, but these are watercolor paints. You have a whole bag of cornstarch. Be really careful. This is a messy, messy kind of thing. You have an apron that you can also use as a tablecloth if you don't have a tablecloth at home because everything that we're doing today is gonna to be messy. And we have a little baggie with some oil. This is vegetable oil, some salts, a little bit of grape juice, and a little bit of salt. And I labeled everything so you know exactly what they are. And you've got a white crayon, a paintbrush, and two little Q-tips. So um, we're going to make oobleck, but I'm going to do that last because that's messy. <laughs> so our, um, I guess we'll do the watercolor experiments first. Um, basically, I wanted to know what, what you could do with watercolor paints and household items to make some cool paint potions. So that's why we have the salt and the oil with the watercolors. They're right here. And basically what you're gonna do with your watercolor paper, just use one page for this because you're gonna use the other watercolor page for something else. Um, you are going to use your paintbrush and experiment. So experiment with the oil and the paint. How does it come out? Experiment with the putting the salt on the paper and then putting watercolors all over it and then leaving it to dry. See what happens, see how they come out. They are really, really cool. So I'm gonna show you an example. It might be a little hard to see, but on this one, yeah, it's hard to see on here, but I use, I put salt on this piece of paper and then I uh, watercolored all over it. And it's hard to see on here, but in real life, it kind of shimmers and it looks really, really beautiful. So that's like, just be careful because the salt will fall off it. But um, that is something really cool that a paint potion will make, salt and watercolors. Who would have thought, right? And also, I think the oil one is even cooler because, so this is what oil and watercolors look like when they mix. It makes it look a lot different and it dries a lot different too. So um, when you're doing the oil, you can brush it you can experiment in different ways, but how I did it, it was I brushed the oil with my paintbrush over the watercolor paper. I put a tablecloth or a paper towel underneath it so the oil wouldn't seep through the watercolor paper. And then I painted, I used the watercolors on top of the oil and saw what happened. And then I made really cool designs. So these are just experiments, but you can make really, really nice watercolor paintings out of salts, out of oil, and I didn't have any to give you guys, but if you have baking soda and vinegar at home, you can also see watercolor, put those on top and then see it'll fizz and see what happens. Maybe it'll look really cool once it dries. Again, with these, the salt and the oil, you gotta make sure that you let it dry and also be careful with the oil so it doesn't leak through the paper and be careful with the salt because some will fall off the watercolor paper. So that's our first craft experiment kind of thing with paint potions. And then our next one is invisible ink. So we have the white crayon and the watercolor paints. 
And what you can do with that is you can take your white crayon, you can write messages, um, write words, draw things, whatever you want on this white crayon. And you'll see, I just drew a heart, but you can't see it, right? I don't see a heart anywhere, but I promise I drew it. Once you're all done making your um, white, uh, white crayon messages and drawings, use the watercolor paints to reveal what you did. So, for example, I wrote hello in white crayon. And look at that. And then I watercolored all over it. And you see my invisible ink was revealed. Okay, so that's one method of doing invisible ink. Your second method of doing invisible ink is, I did it, but it's super hard to see. Basically, in your kit, you have one tablespoon of baking soda. You need one tablespoon of baking soda and one tablespoon of water. It might be able to fit all in this container or you can use a bowl. You're going to mix that all up. And then in, with your Q-tip, you're gonna take your watercolor paper, wherever there's a blank space, dip it into the mixture of the baking soda and water, take it out and draw just like a paintbrush or like a pencil. Draw your messages, write your messages, whatever you wanna do. Now you have to set that aside till it completely dries, okay? Wait till it dries. Then using your other Q-tip, you dip it into this grape juice and then you um, kind of paint the grape juice all over the your messages. And you're going to see that they get revealed too. So these are like invisible ink potions. And these are just two methods of how to do it. You can do the white crayons and the watercolor paints. You can do the baking soda, water, dry, and then the grape juice. Or you can do both. Or either. <laughs> okay, so those are all the um, the crafts that I'm going to explain to you, and then we're going to do the oobleck together. Now, oobleck is a really, really interesting thing because um, this is cornstarch in a bowl. You have, I didn't really measure it, you just have cornstarch in a baggie, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to dump most of it. Keep a little in this bag just in case you overwater it. But dump most of your cornstarch into a bowl. And then you're just gonna need water and your hands and you have to be okay with being messy. But oobleck is really, really weird because it's, I'm gonna use a big word, it's a non-Newtonian fluid. So what that means is that it doesn't behave how we expect it to behave. It's kind of like a solid, it's kind of like a liquid, and it does both. That's weird, right? But more than anything else, it's just really fun to play with, but you do get messy, okay? So again, put all, but I mean, sorry, don't put all, put most of this cornstarch into this bowl. Then you are going to need water, a cup of water. You are going to add just a tiny bit of water at a time and mix, start mixing with, you can use a spoon or mix it with your hands. Tiny bit at a time, because if you pour the whole water in, then the cornstarch is going to dissolve and then you will get your oobleck. So we want to make sure that we get the right amount. So I just did a little bit, okay? And I'm going to start mixing it with my hands. And it's going to be really dry at first. This is really dry and crumbly. So I am going to need more water, but that's okay. I have plenty. I can always add more water. I can't subtract water. Okay. So it's still dry and crumbly. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. Okay. And now it's starting to feel a little gross which is what I want it to be. So I'm just gonna mix it a little bit more. This is what it looks like at the moment. It's kind of hard to see, but I think it's pretty close to how I want it to be. Oops. Okay. 
Oh no, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Technical difficulty. All right, we'll just leave it like that. Um, so I don't. Yeah. All right, this is Ublick. All right, so I'm gonna show you. So in my bowl, kind of hard to see, but it really looks liquid, right? And then I'm going to lift, try to lift it up, and then it's like solid. So when I hold it in my hands like this, it's like solid, right? Sort of. But then I open them and it becomes liquid again. Now again, this is super messy and gross, but it, uh, I'm gonna add a tiny bit more water and see what happens, but it's a really weird thing. Let's see if I add a little bit more water. I'm gonna mix it more with my hands. And it's kind of hard to mix too, but that's what you want. So it's really liquidy, but then I hold it. Yeah, see, I think I added a little bit too much water, but that's okay because I have a little bit more corn cornstarch. Cornstarch, sorry. So if I have to add more cornstarch to make it less soupy, that's why we have left a little extra in the bowl. But that is basically cornstarch. Again, mine isn't perfect because it's not really becoming a solid but it's still a really, really weird consistency. And yours, if you can hold it in your hands, but then you open your hands and it starts to become liquid, you have made your oobleck. Okay? So I hope you guys have so much fun making your potions and experiments. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!